Alright guys, today is actually just a quick little fix video. So if you have a boosted board, you might have run into this problem. If you leave it discharged for a long period of time without writing it, your battery might actually sink below this critical value to where it actually won't charge. So when you take the charger and plug it into the boosted board, it doesn't charge, it actually just starts blinking red instead of having a solid red color. Well, how do you fix this? Well, it's actually pretty simple because you discharge your battery so far down that it won't charge. Basically, you just have to charge it back a, a little bit without using the charger. Well, how do you do that? So if you know how motors work, uh, if you give a motor electricity, obviously it runs. Well, if you turn the motor manually like this, it'll actually charge the battery. And by the way, don't worry about all this. Uh, this is for some external battery packs that I made. Uh, so that's disregard all that. But yeah, so basically all we need to do is turn the motors enough to give the battery a little bit of charge. So you could do this by riding the board around outside, but that'll take a good while. So I'm gonna show you a much faster way. Get some duct tape and get a power drill. If you have one that is a plug into the wall power drill, that's gonna be a lot better because you won't use up a battery. But if you do have one that takes rechargeable batteries, that'll work as well, but you might need a couple batteries. So if you have one of these laying around, that is the, your best option. Simply make a belt with the duct tape with the sticky side facing outwards. And you're just gonna slip that onto the wheel right here. So then you're gonna take the drill and put it right there. And then you're just gonna turn it on. So after a few minutes of doing that, your belt's pretty much gonna be shot, but check this out. And now, when you plug it in, boom, starts charging like normal. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure to keep the drill on here. It took me probably about 10 minutes on full speed with this, wire, with this wired drill. And so, and that thing goes pretty darn fast. So it, it might take a little bit. So I'd say probably about 10 minutes. Um, I'm not sure how it would go with a wireless battery powered drill, but yeah, you can experiment with it, but yeah, this does work. Thanks for watching.